The items you set out on the curb each week come trash day are one man's source of inspiration. He's turning your garbage into one of a kind creations. In a story you'll only see on News 3, Jeremy Nichols shares how his pieces are giving hope at an area hospital. I like finding old things and turning them into something new, something that the world has never seen before. At first glance, Mark Laginus's Stoughton studio looks like a place where music went to die. I like keeping things out of landfills and especially turning what some people would consider to be junk into works of art. Tubas, beer bottles, wine bottles. The wood in that one, that's from a headboard of a bed that I found in La Crosse. About 80% of my materials are found objects. They're recycled or upcycled. The wood in many pieces comes from pianos and organs. But there's one creation in particular that's close to Mark's heart. Why fish? I love fish. I grew up in Racine, not too far, probably about a mile away from Lake Michigan. And my dad was a rather avid fisherman. So Laginus was thrilled when he was commissioned to create 30 fish out of copper and stained glass. I figured I would just spread them all out all along the wall. To decorate a wall in the new UW Hospital at American Center. Hospitals, rather than being completely antiseptic and white, they need to have some life. Even though the hospital is only open to training staff right now. Did you make them? Yeah, I'm the artist. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to keep you hey. admiring this forever. Well, awesome. Mark couldn't go two minutes without being stopped by admirers. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Can you tell what that is? A muskie. How could you not have a smile on your face when you see these? They're very fun. I was thinking it was long like a perch. It is a perch. Oh, you're good. You know your fish. The pieces are very whimsical. Um, they're really fun. This one's a walleye, and it has a wrench. Here's one with a scrabble tile. See, it's a catfish. I think the fish are very cool. So while it may be true that giving someone a fish feeds them for a day... Maybe it'll make people smile. Maybe it'll make people happy just to see all the fish. Mark hopes these fish will nourish the soul for many years to come. In Madison, this is Jeremy Nichols for WISC News 3. Very cool. We should mention Mark is one of 115 Wisconsin artists with work being displayed at the new UW Hospital at American Center. The hospital opens its doors to patients in mid-August. Pretty neat. That, that artwork really makes yeah. a difference because, you know, those walls in the hospital, they need to be, you know. No one really enjoys going to a hospital, you know, so if you can see something that cheers you up or makes you smile, it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, it makes, makes a difference. Great stuff. And thanks to Jeremy for his work there as well.